This is Nick with LogosByNick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be showing you how to create this vector map icon using Inkscape. And at any point in this tutorial you could look down at the bottom left hand side of my screen to see which mouse clicks and keystrokes I'm using. So I'll close out of that and get started. The first thing we'll do in Inkscape is set our view to custom and then we'll zoom in at 100% and we'll open up our align and distribute menu with this button right here. Make sure you have last selected chosen from this drop down menu. And then we'll go to Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke. Click that button to open up that menu. And the first thing we're going to do is create a rectangle. So click on the, um, the Create Rectangles and Squares tool. Just come over here into the canvas and just create a rectangle of any shape or size. Uh, make sure the, the, um, the corners are straight and not rounded like that. If they come out rounded, just go ahead and click this button up here to make them sharp corners. Uh, then we'll go back to our select tool and we're going to make the width of this up here where there's a W. We're going to make the width of this 450 pixels. So highlight whatever's in there and type 450 and then hit tab to skip back over to the height and type 300 and hit enter. And then we will take the opacity and drop this down about in half so we can see through different objects as we create them. And the next thing we're going to do is create another rectangle. So let's come back to the rectangle tool and let's create a, um, a rectangle about this size going through that one. Maybe like that. Then we'll come back to our select tool and let's click on this a second time to get the rotation handles and once we get that we're gonna grab one of these corner handles and let's rotate this around until it's positioned sort of like that. And then we'll right click this and go to duplicate and we'll rotate this one around about up here so it's about this far maybe position like that and I'm gonna take this and put this right up here like that and then I'm gonna hold shift on the keyboard and click on that first rectangle and let's unify them together by going to path union and then we'll click on this um, this bigger black rectangle here in the background I'm gonna turn that red just so we could differentiate it from the other shape and then we'll right click that and go to duplicate and then hold shift on the keyboard and click on this uh, upside down T shape that we just created and go to path intersection and then we'll right click on that shape and go to duplicate and hold shift in the keyboard and click on the red rectangle and go to path uh, difference and then we'll go to path break apart and then we can click off of the graphic to deselect everything and if you see what happened there it just broke these up into three individual pieces that we can use so uh, once we've done that Let's uh, click and drag over this whole thing and let's bring the opacity of that all the way up. And then we can click off of the graphic to deselect it. And let's click on this top left red corner and hold shift and click on this top right red corner so we have them both selected. And let's color them in green. So we'll come down here to our color picker. I'm going to choose a shade of green. Maybe, um... I'll just go with something like that for now. Or I'll just go with this shade right here. That's pretty good. Any green should work. And then we'll click on this red piece down here. We'll make that blue. Uh, I'll pick maybe this color down here. That's good. And then let's click on this uh, black object right here in the center. And let's make that a shade of yellow. I like that shade right there. That's pretty good. And then what we're going to do is click and drag over this entire thing. And let's group it together. You can group it together with that button right there. And then we're going to take this and right click it and go to duplicate. And we'll bring this copy down here beneath it. And I'm going to press down on the mouse wheel to pound the, pan the page down. And then we'll right click this and duplicate this again and bring this one down here so we have three different copies of this little map object that we just drew. And once we've done that we can go back to our rectangle tool and we can create another rectangle sort of like that. Any shape, any size, just go back to the select tool and we'll make the width of this 150 pixels. So highlight that and type 150 and then hit tab to skip over to the height and we're going to make the height of that 300 pixels. And then just 300, hit enter. And let's come back to our color picker and let's turn this black and take the opacity of that and drop that down about in half. And then we'll right click this and go to duplicate and hold shift in the keyboard and click on this first map and we're going to center this on the horizontal axis and then align the left edges just like that. 
Then let's go back to this original rectangle. Let's right click that and go to duplicate, hold shift in the keyboard and click on this map in the middle. And let's center that on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. And then we'll take this, um, this first panel right here and let's raise that to the top with this button right here. Raise selection to the top and then hold shift and click on this third map down here. And let's center that on the horizontal axis and let's align the right edges. And I'm going to press down on the mouse wheel to pan the page around so I can show you what we did here. We created one panel for each side of the map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom out now. I'm going to hold control on the keyboard and roll down on the mouse wheel to zoom out. And I'm going to click and drag over this entire thing and I'm just going to ungroup it. We just go to ungroup and then we can click off of the graphic to deselect everything and let's press one on the keyboard to go back to 100%. Now let's come up here to this very first one and let's click on this black panel right here. Let's right click that and go to duplicate. Hold shift in the keyboard and click on that green panel and go to path intersection. And then we'll click on this black panel again, right click that, duplicate, hold shift, click on the yellow shape and go to path intersection. And then finally we could take this original black panel, hold shift, click on the blue shape and go to path intersection. And then we can click on this and just press delete on the keyboard and get rid of that. And we're going to do the same thing to these other two down here. So let's click on this first one right here, this, this middle black panel, right click that and go to duplicate, hold shift, click on this green object to the left, path intersection. We'll click on this black panel again, right click, duplicate, hold shift, click on the, um, the yellow shape, path, intersection. Then we'll click on the black panel again, right click, duplicate, hold shift, click on the blue shape, path, intersection. And then finally we could take this original black panel and hold shift in the keyboard and click on the green shape and go to path, intersection. And then finally, we'll do the same thing down here to this last map. Uh, we'll click on this black panel, right click, duplicate, hold shift, click on the green object, go to path, intersection, click on the black shape again, right click, duplicate, hold shift, click the yellow pattern, the yellow object rather, path, intersection, and then finally take this original black panel, hold shift, click on the, uh, the blue shape, path, intersection. And then we can click on this and just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that. And what we could do now is let's take, let's click and drag over all of these objects right here. And let's click and drag this down here so it's somewhat next to that. It doesn't have to be exactly aligned or up against it. We're just going to put them next to each other for now. We do the same thing to this one, click and drag over all of them and put them right there. And then click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this green shape up here and hold shift and click on this green shape on the right side. And I'm going to come over to the fill tab and under the HSL tab, I'll come down to the L column and I'm going to slide this over to the left a little bit to make it a little darker, maybe like that. And then I'll click on the blue object on the left and then hold shift and click on the blue object on the right. And I'll do the same thing. I'm going to slide that left that L column over to the left a little bit to make it a little darker. And then I'll click on this yellow shape, hold shift, click on that yellow shape. I'm going to make that a little darker as well, maybe like that. And then what we could do now is we can click and drag over this entire left panel and group that together. And then we can click and drag over this entire middle panel and group that together. And then we can click and drag over this entire right panel and group that together. And let's go back to this first shape over here and click on that. And then let's click it a second time to get the rotation handles. And I'm going to take one of these side arrows and I'm just going to slide this up maybe about that much. And then I'll, I'll, do, I'll do the same thing to this one, but going in the opposite direction. Click on it, click it a second time to get the rotation handles. And I'm going to slide this one down instead of up like that. And then I'll do that to this one down here. Click on that. Click on it a second time to get the rotation handles and I'll slide this one up like the first one. And then we're going to turn on the snap to cusp nodes up here. Snap to cusp nodes, go ahead and turn that on. 
If this isn't available for you to turn on, that means you have to turn on this one and this one first. So once you have that turned on, let's grab this left panel up by the top right corner and let's just snap it onto the corner of that one right there. And we'll do the same thing down here. We'll, we'll grab this bottom left corner and snap it onto the bottom right corner of the one next to it and click off of the graphic to deselect everything. Now what we can do is click and drag over this entire thing, right click it and go to duplicate and let's ungroup it and then go to path union and then let's give that a light shade of gray maybe 10 percent yeah 10 10 percent should work and then we'll we'll lower that to the bottom lower selection to the bottom go ahead and click that button right there and then we're going to give that a stroke of the same shade so in order to give this a stroke we'll hold shift in the keyboard and click on the shade that we just used i think it was 10 percent. there we go 10 percent, and then click and you can't really see it here just yet because it's not that big. So what we'll do is we'll go to the Stroke Style uh, tab. And whatever number that is, just erase it and hit, um, let's try 40. 40, and hit Enter. Uh, maybe 35. We'll do 35. A little too thick. Yeah, that's pretty good right there. A 35-point stroke. And once you do that, we'll go to Path, Stroke to Path, Path, Break Apart, and then Path, Union. And what we'll do next is... Let's right click that thing we just created. And, and you know what? Instead of right clicking it, let's just go to Edit, Duplicate. And let's grab our Bezier pen. And let's snap the cursor onto this corner over here and then click. And then snap the cursor onto this corner and click. And let's just bring this line around the outside edge, connect it back together. Go back to the Select tool, hold Shift in the keyboard and click on that uh, gray shape right there and go to Path intersection and then we'll come over to the fill tab and let's come down to the L column and let's slide that to the left a little bit to make that a little darker and then we can lower that one step with this button right here lower selection one step I have to click that twice actually and it should go beneath this left panel right here so we're gonna do this one more time let's click on this gray object in the background here this border we'll right click that and go to duplicate and we'll go back to our bezier pen let's snap it onto this corner down here and click and then snap it onto this corner and click and finish the shape up going around the outside of the graphic and then we'll go back to our select tool hold shift and click on that gray object and go to path intersection and we're going to want to make this the same shade of gray that that one is so let's go to our dropper tool click on the dropper tool if you don't have this button on your screen just press F7 on the keyboard and that will get you the dropper tool. And once you got your dropper tool, just go ahead and click on that gray segment right there to give it the same shade. And then we'll go back to our select tool and we can lower this one step. And now we can turn off our snap to cusp nodes. We don't need that anymore. And we can click and drag over this whole thing and group it together. And we are finished. We have now created our map icon using Inkscape. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thank you for watching.